Attention, the following video you're about to watch was proudly made by, um, a very tall midget. Enjoy, like, subscribe! What is going on YouTube? It's very tall midget, your boy is back, yeah, guys. The fire playing some close. Last of Us Remastered up on the PS4. You got this. Um, I start off absolutely shitty on this game. I did awful. I mean, I finished the game 17 Wait and 6, up. but I think I get go. probably 10 of those last kills in the last, like, two minutes of the game. Failed clutch. Absolutely failed clutch. You'll see at the end. I uh, thought I was going to be able to do it, but I am not able to, unfortunately. So, haven't put up a video in quite some time, but in the meantime, I have gained, like, 100 Fuck, subscribers down. since... <laughs> My last video with the Destiny Alpha, on, so I figure I might try to revitalize my go. YouTube channel, Fuck, doing some Last like of this. Us. Um, probably since my last video, I, I've gone through a lot. Um, you know, I've got uh, all this wedding stuff, planning, all that stuff, gaming party coming up. Good to go. Anyway, talk about Last of Us. So, played it on the PS3. Phenomenal. Best. Best single player, I, I could play it over and over again. Harder difficulties, it's a little bit more annoying, but uh, honestly, it's it's fantastic. The upgraded package with remaster comes man, with rifle. both map packs, uh, abandoned and reclaimed territories. Uh, comes with the single player DLC left behind and it comes with the grounded mode DLC which I probably Get will not over here and help me out. but uh, I don't know maybe I will eventually maybe after I get my platinum I'll go for it now I didn't even play survivor on PS3 I just thought the difficulty probably would have been too much anyway back to the game the upgraded visuals run at full 1080p over 720 that was on the PS3 and it's locked at 60 frames per second for multiplayer and single player. And a lot of people are sitting there saying, oh, you can't notice the difference. Yes, you can. Give me you absolutely can. Good to go. The picture quality is just so crisp and clear regardless if you're playing on a big screen HDTV or uh, you know a 20 inch personal HDTV. Phenomenal. So, it seems as if the Call of Duty mentality has I'm kind set. of just plagued itself over to Last of Us already. You can tell the people that have never played this game from the PS3, jumped on it on PS4. You, you can just see the, the, the game mode interrogation, which I'm not playing, is... It's kind of like deathmatch until you get the objective, and then once you get the objective, everyone just hides. Just hides and camps the objective. It's fucking pathetic. It's like playing a game of domination, trying to get B. Hardly ever going to happen. Anyway, playing with, uh, this was a no party, no party allowed mode. So it's not like anyone could just, you know, come in with the team. So I kind of had to put the team on my back on this game. So like I said, I really didn't start off that great, it was decent until the very end, which I don't have the exact time, but honestly if you want to fast forward it, I would just fast forward until there's like two minutes left in the game, I fucked this up big time, I was going to get that smoke at their feet, Ugh, I got fucking destroyed. So I get killed here, I think I'm like barely even breaking even, um, whatever, not that concerned about it. So. Naughty Dog had actually said that they were planning on releasing new DLC for this game, which I think is fantastic, because the game itself is fantastic. Um, nobody knows what it is yet, they haven't made any announcement, but the, the, the quote, newest rumor is that they were bringing the clickers into multiplayer, and if you're not familiar with that, the clickers are the zombies, whatever you want to call them in this game, that once they grab you, they kill you. Unless you have the, uh, one of the, the skills upgraded that you can shank it in the mouth when it, when it comes to bite you. Um, fail with this bomb here. I 
don't get anybody. Thought I was gonna be able to get that guy and him revive him. Didn't work out too well. So I'll get this guy, get him down. And pretty much from here on in in the video is where I kind of start to do well. I think I die like one or two more times, maybe even three. But uh, from that that, that point in, it, I just ran train on everybody. So trying to use stealth. That's all the loadouts I use on this game, and I lucked out here. Got if I had a bomb or a Molotov, top, I Down one turret. all three of those dudes out right there. That one's dead. That's all right. Anyway, the loadout that I'm using on this class is the revolver, um, semi-auto rifle, the suppressor, covert training two, Hawkeye two, and uh, sharp ears one. So I, I, I like to play stealth. I like to stay off the radar. You'll hardly ever find me running unless I'm in an absolute jam. Uh, I'm more of the stealth player. Any kind of online gaming, I like to be stealth. I, I can't. It grinds my gears so hard when someone found out where I was because you know like some stupid perk they had or something like that. But uh, you know, I like to stay stealth. So this dude, I'm gonna totally annihilate. So he was using listen mode, but Cobra turned me too. You don't come up on listen mode, so. I believe I get bullshit here. Yeah, yeah, you see that shit? Look at that naughty dog. Shot him with two semi-auto blasts and then meleeed him three times. Yet I died with full health. Tell me how that happens. Oh, wait, it was probably a foreigner with a fucking shit connection. So I probably saw him get hit twice, but uh, he probably only got hit once and probably none of my melees even hit. So you just saw the scoreboard right there. What was that, six and three? And this game's almost over. And I finished the game 17 and 6, I believe that's what it is. So, like I said, it's been a while. Doing a video. I'm rusty as shit on commentary. I was rusty as shit coming into this game on Last of Us. Kind of wish I had my Elgato running from some of the games I played this morning. I had a back to back Survivors, which, if you're not familiar with the game, Survivors is basically. Search and destroy without planning any objectives. It's just Fire one life. That's it. So I had two back-to-back -back games where I finished nine and zero and eight and zero consecutive games against different people. Kind of wish I had the Gato running because almost all the kills were straight stealth kills of just shanking people, which personally I think is so much fun to do. I actually have a class set up just for that. Oh shit. Um. Watch this clutch right here. Oh, oh, see him take this. that. Oh, can't see. Oh, bomb, get shanked, and then get beat down. Yep. Coming. And then I'm gonna execute you, get those extra parts, and then I believe I get shit on. Yep. That <laughs> DK was shot, he fucking blew me away. No big deal. Took out two of them. Guy on our team rage quit because we were fucking losing. Guy had already finished a multiplayer journey, and keep in mind this is on the third day I was playing this. Fucking loser. Just straight no life in it. So as you can see right now, we got two respawns left. They got six. Technically they have ten. They have ten lives left because they have three guys still alive. And we only had five because we have three alive and two respawns. Um, I, I mean, I just I, I tried to stay away from these guys as much as possible because none of them were using silencers. Majority of them were running around the map, which... If you're new to this game, you're contemplating buying this game, and you like playing stealth, don't run. See how he's running? He's coming up on the radar. If you see his blue blip, then look at that. They're just sitting there waiting for him. Now, I tried to play it smart there. I didn't shoot at those guys. You can see him in the distance back there. But I, I wouldn't have had a chance. They would have just got right into cover, and I'd have got smoked. So I wanted this dude to crawl back to me to try to get them over here. I was going to try to bang them all with a, a, a Molotov. So I get this guy down. down. I was hoping for his teammate to come get him. And this guy, I see him lighting up his Molotov. So I said, all right, I'm going to do the same thing. I thought twice about it. Pulled the gun out. Nope, no I didn't. There's where I pulled the gun out. Now somehow, even though he was already in the dying animation on my screen, 
he still got to throw the Molotov off. I have never once been hit by a Molotov and then be able to fully throw a Molotov oh, nice. without armor. Again, bullshit. Probably a foreigner. Fucking garbage connection. Whatever. So at this point, I'm 10 to 5. So I got 7 more kills and 6 more deaths to go. We're almost getting to the climax of this. Actually, here it is. Yeah, so they have 7 lives left against me. <laughs> so at this point, I'm sitting here thinking in my head, I'm like, oh fuck, I'm so screwed. So I hit that box, and when you're the last one standing and outnumbered like that, the boxes load you up. So I go, all right, we're gonna stock up on ammo, we're gonna get some armor, and we're gonna start setting some traps. So they see my blue blip flashing in here. I see theirs. Boom! Kind of got the feel they were gonna come after me, so I set some traps. I mean, look at that, they set a trap for me, and they outnumber me basically seven to one. So I blow that up to get their attention and put some traps there. Let's see, got their attention. You can see on the radar, they're all coming towards me. Now coming up, I don't know how this guy didn't see me come outside, or if he did, he didn't shoot at me, or, or I just had fantastic luck right there to my left. Mark, watch it. I don't know how he didn't see me, or if he did, I, I don't know what he was thinking, because <laughs> this is what his results. So now they saw where he went down. I just blew somebody up with a bomb. I just took two of them out right there, knocking them down to what? Two respawns? One respawn? <laughs> so at this point, and I see that guy off on the left. How he didn't get me, I don't know. So I'm gonna give him the mark, get him extra supplies, get him down, execute him. Now at this point, I hear the teammates. I guess they put their mic on or something. I hear him. Oh my god, can he clutch it? Can he clutch it? So. I see that guy coming, I'm like, oh shit, might as well kill this guy. And then I'm at this point, I'm like, all right, I'm done. As long as I can get one of them, they're flanking me from both sides. So, considering this was no parties, that worked to my luck. Because, <laughs> look at that, I got two people with that Molotov. Get that guy right there. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm fucking invincible. That bomb almost got me. Hit that dude with the smoke. Stab him in the throat. At this point, I'm like, all right, I'm clutching it. I'm clutching it right here. Got all the points in the world, and then here comes my fucking mistake. Not healing myself. That, that was smart. But here it comes when I go into the backpack. I accidentally hit X on the ammo one additional time when I didn't mean to on the pistol. I meant to buy armor, and that's where I fucked up. So, of course, the guys on my team were like, ooh, and this guy is a friend. He's clutching everything. So, I see their blips, but you know, I can't really determine where they're at. <laughs> my palms were so sweaty at this point, because I really thought I was going to get it. So, I see the blip over there, and I'm like, oh, shit, he must be fucking behind me, because there's only one way over there, so he must have climbed through. Looking for this clown over here. Now, the guy off to my right, I don't know why he hasn't seen me, or how he didn't shoot at me yet. Especially right here. So I see the blip, I see the radar flash. Don't see anything. I see a flash again, and I'm like, oh shit. I think that motherfucker's behind me. I itch my toe, that's why I'm still sitting there. I see that. Now right there, either he didn't see me, or or I don't know what. And there's where I fucked up. I should've went to the left. Now watch this. Semi-auto, hit him twice, he got hit with a bomb, and I got killed. How does that make any sense? How does that make sense? Whatever. Thanks for watching. More Last of Us videos to come.